Democracy. The award-winning TV show every other Saturday. And every day on Facebook. On channel 34, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And every day on Facebook. Live. In New York, with your host. Nation artist activist Smith George. Welcome, Mr. George. Thank you. Well, good evening, as you know, the sir, Smith and George. I'm very honored to receive this award this evening. Thank you, thank you very much. Marty. 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 Dedication to family, perseverance, entrepreneurship, which is true, some really great entrepreneurs. I know one of them, that I can tell you. So I come here today to say the Haitian American community deserves our gratitude and our respect. And I want you to know you have my respect. Thank you. Thank you. I came and I send my prayers, I've been seeing so much as to what's been going on in Haiti. And it's actually hard to believe that something like that could have happened. And the turmoil and pain and suffering that so many people are going through. The 2010 Haitian earthquake unleashed a horrible and catastrophic devastation. Over 300,000 dead. Unbelievable. 300,000. Thank you, George. Millions displaced or injured. Homes, businesses, schools reduced to rubble. People have seen. Amid the suffering, Haiti showed the world so much heart and so much incredible resilience. But the truth is, Haiti is still suffering very badly. Maybe as badly after all of, all of the tears and all of the money and all of the work. When Haiti needed help the most, Haitian people deserve better. And that's what I intend to give them. I will give them better. Too. Today, we begin a new chapter. Together, we will build a relationship based on mutual respect and friendship and love in our community. And we will really do something very special with our commonly shared values, because we have a lot of commonly shared values, maybe, maybe full shared values. I'm running to be president of all Americans. That's everybody. And whether you vote for me or you don't vote for me, I really want to be your greatest champion, and I will be your champion, whether you vote for me or not. We were here to met with the Haitian community in Miami, Little Haiti, and we are so appreciative that we have one candidate in the United States of America who actually step aside his time to meet with us. We are so pleased, delighted to be part of something so big that, that we want to back him up and we want to make sure that the Haitian American vote for Trump. You have no other choice, I promise. You have zero other choice but Trump. You understand the situation of your country, of our country, and we have to minimize the corruption that's happening in Haiti. 
Actually, we're not going to minimize it. We're going to stop the corruption happening in Haiti. And we're going to stop it now. So thank you. And I have Twitter, a Twitter page at Haitian for Trump. Please follow, spread the word, spread the word, and let's make it happen. Vote Trump. I'm Dr. Gaston, and I came here just to listen. And I, I believe that's the first step, uh, like once says, uh, the first task of a leader is to define reality. So I wanted to hear from his heart what he has to say. And I want to see also the community together, coming together and bringing um, all the trouble, all the issues they would like to address by a candidate. Not that I know that they're going to address it or they're going to work on it, but at least someone will hear from the community what is the heartbeat of what we need in this community. But that was a very informal, very great meeting, and I don't have anything to say about against it, but I, I hope that will continue as we approach the day for the meeting. It, is it was necessary for me to be here, and I came here on uh, under my, uh, the Haitian Pastors Association. Since I had been uh, a pastor in, uh, in Florida, and also been in charge of over 300 churches in Florida, so the invitation was very well. Uh, we were able to meet uh, with Mr. Trump, so we can discuss and tell him how we feel about uh, the country and how we feel about Haiti, what's going on in Haiti. So we have a list of pastors, we have a group of pastors here, and uh, leaders that have been uh, working uh, in the Haitian community. And uh, now we feel that it is our, our voice is, is heard, and this is the first time we have a chance to meet with, uh, with an American uh, uh, Candidate, presidential candidate. We hope that uh, the time that Mr. Trump spent with us will be uh, fruitful for the future. We thank uh, Island TV for giving us the opportunity to express ourselves. So we hope that Island TV is continuing with the work that it has to do. It's going in the in the state of Florida. Ça fait plaisir parce que je suis content. C'est première fois depuis 35 ans aux États-Unis que nos candidats vini dans le milieu haïtien qui est entré, vini parler exactement avec nous, fait nous sentir que il est avec nous. Il est entré dans le problème Haïti à tout bon. Bon, ça, moi-même, c'est small business moi avec monsieur. Même si je suis républicain près de 30 ans. ok Mais c'est pour nous voir que small business shop crasé dans le pays. Il faut que ça change. ok Parce que et, et avec, avec Trump, ça a changé. On nous essaye parce que Haïti n'a pas arrêté jean lier il faut, faut que ça change en Haïti tout. Je vais vous promettre nous là, à soya, que depuis le président, Haïti a changé. Et nous croyons dans ça que Haïti a changé vraiment. Merci. There we go. Now it's time. We're changing it. The new commander in chief, Mr. Trump. Haitian all for you, baby. We have an order of Haitian. We endorse Mr. Trump. Gardez mon chien, mais attendez à venir dire un bien à favor et chez nous. Nous, 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 Bon zagri bay. Nous même on, on prend nous prend pour une sorte nous même là. On prend nous prend nous gain sous nous voye voye nous. M'ba aime quoi, m'ba aime quoi dans nos champer pour yo faire ça l'opri ça faire là non. Yo penser dans nos champ mais nous nous même nous acheter figure trop. Nous acheter figure trop. Nous on ça nous on gon gens pour nous hier mes amis. Oh. Dans nos champ pas aimer nous vrai oh lord. Dans notre chambre, peut-être le fin président, la pimpe nous tout bac à Haïti. Et nous même, même, nous même, même cap prem, cap premier, cap premier monté bateau. Bon, dans notre chambre, pas même mettez nous non bateau même. La fait nous swim bac à Haïti. Bon salaud prix. Et puis et puis et puis et puis yo 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 campe bien fier. Oui, à deux pour mon ami. A dit oui dans notre chambre. Les les dans notre chambre voyez nous en Haïti. Ouais, nous gagnons belle tivers nous sur nous là là n'a n'a pas les tintes. Oh oui, nous nous pour dans notre chambre. Les les dans notre chambre voyez nous en Haïti. C'est un bon marché de l'eau nous pour aller tourner. Nous prenons le pied à terre sous la ville, sous le champ de masse, et de l'eau nous prenons le vent. De l'eau, de l'eau, de l'eau, deux bouts de l'eau là, deux bouts de l'eau là. On s'en sort, c'est bien ma chaîne, c'est pour la vie, fab, clé, rock, digue. Si Abby dit, oh, 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 on be off of our chaîne, we support. Tu n'as merde encore, on be off of maman, papa. Ça fait mal en pile, mais oh, allons, nation. Dieu, rouge.
I heard my very good friend, our president, Mr. Trump, when he promised to be the champion for the Haitian people. Now, I know Mr. Trump is a man of his word. He keeps his promises. And I believe, I believe he will keep his promise to be your champion, to be our champion. But we only have a few days left, May 23rd. The decision has to be made, and I promise I will email and call every single day until a decision, a positive decision on TPS is made in your favor. Thank you very much. Let me speak. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. Haitian! 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 Uh, so we're just about to go to the House of Represent Representatives. They're going in now, and we take you to them. The House will be in order. The chair lays before the House a communication from the speaker. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New York, Ms. Clark, for five minutes. I thank you. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, a few days ago, I received a letter from a third grade student at the Brooklyn Friends School and the Cane Street Synagogue Hebrew, Hebrew School named Elijah. Elijah wrote that at our synagogue, we learned that welcoming a stranger is an, is an important mitzvah. And I know that my people were immigrants and sometimes refugees trying to find a new home in the USA. So it is important to me that we extend our welcome to refugees from Haiti. Elijah is right. The people of Haiti have suffered through numerous tragedies over the past few years alone. They have experienced a devastating and catastrophic earthquake, tragic cholera epidemic, ongoing food scarcity crisis, deadly hurricanes, and continued flood flooding. For these reasons, the Obama administration designated Haiti for temporary protected status in 2010 and redesignated it four times thereafter. However, Haiti's TPS designation will expire in July if the administration does not act immediately. That's why I organized with my colleagues of the Congressional Black Caucus and called for DHS Secretary John Kelly to redesignate Haiti for an additional 18 months of TPS. We also asked DHS to issue a new TPS designation that would include the tens of thousands of Haitians who are in the United States but are not covered by the existing TPS designation. The continuing humanitarian crisis on the ground in Haiti should make this an easy call. But news reports indicate that the acting head of USCIS, James McCammont, is looking for evidence of crimes committed by Haitians to use as a pretext for ending Haiti's TPS designation. Such actions are part of the Trump administration's attempt to depict immigrants as criminals. They're also part of a flagrant effort to obscure the fact that TPS is based on the conditions on the ground in Haiti, rather than the actions of some TPS beneficiaries here in the United States. I call on Director Kelly to ignore these misguided voices and instead listen to people like Elijah. 
Human decency demands that the Department of Homeland Security extend temporary protected status to all Haitians present in the United States prior to November 4th, 2016, as the country continues to rebuild. And I yield back the balance of my time. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from...